Hello, I'm Dougie Brimson, and welcome to Mad and Max. On tonight's show, Sarah spends some time with a brand new junior rally team. We've got another segment of Golden Oldies, and I'll be looking at some motorbikes, which are very, very small. Rally driving may not have the television coverage of Formula One, but it is, however, one of the world's oldest motorsports. Competitors are timed through stages, and at the end of the competition, the person with the quickest time is the winner. Drivers like Nick Kennedy, who, in only his second year of rallying, is competing in the brand new VW Polo Championship. My name's Nick Kennedy. I'm a rally driver. I've been doing this for a year and a half now. Rallying isn't the cheapest of sports, but once you get started, it's an addiction. You can get started very cheaply. You can join your local motor club and a night out would cost you £20 a head for the two of you. And you'd be out doing a, a stage around the local roads, learning to navigate, driving competitively, but within the limits of the law. The stage above that is to go stage rallying, which is what I and the other people here today do. This year we've um, been very fast through the stages. Unfortunately, we've been dogged by reliability problems. Most of those are, are down to our lack of budget. Um, we've started four rallies. We've finished one rally, which is not what you'd be looking for in the best of seasons. Rally car I'd most like to drive would be one that didn't belong to me. If somebody would pay me to drive their car, hire me to drive their car, that is everybody's ambition. A works team, whichever works team, is what everybody is looking to do. Alistair Moffat is in his first year of rallying competing against his brother. They are, however, not new to competition as they are reigning auto test champions. Again, my name's Alistair Moffat. I've um, been competing in motorsports since 1995. Um, contested the auto test championship up until um, last year. Um, um, last year, won the PCRGA auto test championship. Uh, Total Samba is a 1996 Total Samba. Um, it's a 1360 engine, the Ainport head. Uh, it's a good little car, it uh, shifts on a bit. <laughs> Best result this year is being second in class on the Pirelli. A bit of a shame, uh, struggling a little bit with reliability on the older car. Um, haven't yet not set fastest stage times on an event I've competed on, so including the first ever rally, so it's, it's potential there, so I get to you maybe get that. better. In five years' time, it's a long way down the road. Um, by by then, I'll be uh, 26, which will be over the hill. But uh, um, I'd I'd like to try and have a go at a one make championship. Uh, do some maybe European rounds, maybe. There is a reason why Alistair and Nick are here today. They're both members of a new junior rally team organised by the Bill Gwynn Rally School. Meet Paul Gwynn, one of the people behind the team. The rally school, Bill Gwynn Rally School, has been uh, in operation for nearly 20 years. And setting up a, a, a team of young rally drivers is something that Bill has been wanting to do for, for most of that time. And now we have the resources and wherewithal to do it. The objective of the, of the team is to identify a, num a number of young drivers with potential and to use the facilities of the school and the instructors to bring on their driving skills. It is very, very difficult. And in fact, there, there isn't uh, uh, a standard progression that drivers can make from their first rally and if they have the talent to end up as a world, championship, world rally championship driver. Colin McRae and Richard Burns are the two top British drivers in the World Championship at the moment uh, and they are exceptional talents but they also had to work through the lower formula of rallying the front wheel drive single main championships before being spotted by uh, a factory team which is both are driven for pro drive but David Richard's uh, pro drive has a very progressive approach to driver selection 
and he has spotted their talent at an early age and given them the opportunity in factory cars to compete at British and then world level and they are now leading the world in rallying. Uh, we may have uh, a very natural talent amongst our uh, junior team and exceptional talent and if that is the case we hope that this will help them along the way to a World Rally Championship drive. Each driver has a different level of experience uh, and therefore different areas of their, of their driving need working on. Uh, the Moffat brothers and Jack Ingleby, both in uh, their second year of rallying, uh, very young and aggressive, uh, but all three wanting to go a lot faster. And Nick Kennedy is also in his second year of rallying, but not as experienced as the others. And we are working on his commitment uh, and more basic techniques to improve his chances in the VW Polo Cup. So maybe in time, with the help and experience of the junior rally team, we'll see the likes of Moffat and Kennedy taking over from McRae and Burns. Good luck with the rest of the season, guys. Here we go then, views. It's Madamax Golden Alley time. We've got some water action for you. I'll tell you what, Herbert, they're not going very fast. They are, Vince. It's in slow motion, you drongo. Are you sure? Absolutely. Look at this guy. He's going to lose it in a minute. Uh, like, like, no, he isn't. Put that sheep away. Most like my Uncle Billy's uh, sport wagon. Gets a speed wobble on the hill when he's going for the beer. Look at him go. He's oh, oh, That's got to hurt. I reckon he's on a one-way trick to Payne Central there, mate. Hey. Schmick off. No, I on. was reading the sign, mate. I know you were. He's got a sinking feeling again. Ah, he's, he's not happy at all. He's got a huge orange helmet. That's all I can see. Look at him go. Is oh, it's a her. It's a her. Oh, it's a, it's a she Sheila. She's beautiful. Flying I want to marry her. Whoa, look at that. She's she, a one ski wonder. She did like Stevie Wonder. Apparently, he can water ski like a diamond. Diamond geezer indeed, mate. Now, look at these guys. Wow, formation water skiing. Wow, I don't know what kind of formation you call that. Ah, we're onto the cars now, vanishing point. That looks like a quick beast. He's going awfully slow to pull a wheelie like that, Look at mate. Ah, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. She's beautiful. Oh, oh, he goes again. Nah, is that the same guy? You want to be careful with this water, mate. You know why? Why is that, mate? White shark. Oh, no. Teeth like razors. <gasps> no sharks up here, though. Just eh, eh, whoa, try seeing that after yeah. a few times. Oh, tunes. no. Here we go, little blokes on little wheels. Once again, viewers, I've got to explain that my mate uh, Vinny here, he doesn't like the little rollerbladers. Oh, no. It's not that I've got anything against them, mate. They're just so boring. It's the white shark danger again. What's the dangers about a white shark, mate? Teeth like razors, mm. oh, but there's no fear fun. here again. Wow, he doesn't look happy. He doesn't, mate. Oh, he's got to bang his head there. That guy can't be in one piece. That's got to be 10 out of 10 for break dancing, though. Breaking every bone in his body. Absolutely. What's this guy hit here? Oh, he's got his laundry with him, mate. Must be on his way to his mum's. Straight yeah. out of uni. Or his sister's, of course. Yeah, mum. She might live closer. Here we go. It's another one of those dodgy video blokes. Hot dog, get the hot dog vape on. Leave the videos where you found them, mate. Sorry, mate. Hello. What? Look, oh, whoop, well, wouldn't you have a peek? That's a big pair there. So I get the phone call on Friday afternoon. Come along and have a look at some racing bikes. And here's me thinking Hondas, Kawasaki's, but no. Welcome to Mini Motor Racing. Now, it may not have escaped your notice that this is quite a small motorbike. And looking at something like this, you think the only person who could brace it would be under 12 and certainly under four foot, but you'd be wrong. We've come to Swaffham today to meet a guy who isn't only fully grown, he races these things on a regular basis, Roy Hook. Roy, it's fair to say you are one of the longest serving exponents of mini motor racing. How did you first become involved in the sport? How did I get involved? Um, it all started back in 1993 where I was working uh, and one of the guys said, do I fancy having to go on a mini moto? Uh, so I said, what's that? And uh, he showed me a picture and I thought, wow, yeah, I'd love to. So we went for a hire and ride at um, on a mill circuit, an indoor circuit at Oldham. And um, at the end of that day, I was buzzing and I just, I had to have one, just needed one. 
And you've been reasonably successful during your career, so can you explain to us your um, formidable record? Yeah, uh, 1993 was a learning year, uh, learning about the bike, uh, the way the clubs run, and um, basically the circuits. Um, 1994, um, things were improving, getting better, uh, and I was seventh in the championship that year, modified championship that is. Uh, 1995, uh, I was climbing up and I ended up third at the end of the, at the, end of the season. Um, that was making me go even, even harder and faster, chasing what I was hoping to be a title anyway, which I, I eventually won in 1996, uh, British champion modified rider. Uh, and I was lucky enough to keep that in 97 as well, so two championships on the truck, can't be too bad. Now we can see you wearing um, levers and a crash helmet. Um, how safe is it as a sport? Generally very safe. We've had we've had no major incidences at all. You are going to get crashes, uh, but with all this gear on, it gives you a lot of confidence. And basically, you're just going to slide along. Most circuits have got a lot of runoff area, so you are really just going to slide. You're not going to hit anything. Uh, the sort of injuries the guys will get are maybe broken collarbone or a, a broken wrist or something. So it's nothing too serious. Six weeks and you're back on them again. The British Mini Moto Championship has been running since 1995. Over the season they compete in over eight rounds and run nine classes of competition, from juniors to seniors. There's even a class for mini sidecars. On the face of it, mini motor racing is a bit of a mad sport, but it isn't. It's actually very competitive and very, very exciting. The people who do it are great, it's very real run, and they all have a great time. So what more can anybody want out of their motorsport? Oh, the moustache old man is your friend again, Bob. I've come to clean the pool. Oh, wrong way up. There we go. Whoa, that guy's going pretty fast. It's another Madame Mac. There he is again. I've seen him in some films. Yeah, well, leave them under the mattress. Hey, water sports. We all like those. Rob, I'm warning you now. Sorry. Whoa! Oh! That's got to hurt. He's just blowing the boat apart there. That was a spray and a half. Absolutely. Now this shot's kind of boring, is he going to crash? Yeah, whoa, she looks like she's enjoying that ice cream. Indeed, and wouldn't you be, if you were in that position? Absolutely. The Russians are here. Hey, they make pretty good speed boats, it's it those dodgy mustache guys again. Yeah, leave those videos where they are. Absolutely. Well, these guys must be really Here crazy. we go, reverse drag racing, I told you it existed. That's what they do in Iceland. Is it? Absolutely. I've never shopped there, look at the clappy hat. It's not that bad, mate. Ha! Orange jumpsuit, very fashionable. Always a warning, that's like my Uncle Derek used to wear. He wants to put his helmet down and get on with something worthwhile. Whoa, look at the tires on that thing. Is that a Corvette? I think it might be. I, I don't know what I'm saying now, but look at these guys. He's lost it, he's lost ah, he's it. He's gonna go off, he's, he's gonna out. Go. Sparks are flying. Oh, he got away with that one. And uh, this guy's going, that's like the mother-in-law going shopping. Whoa, that's, that's gotta like hurt. That's like the mother going shopping, that one. Is this a paddle boat? No, it's a guy sliding along on his leathers. You didn't want to do that. I want to stay in the saddle. Absolutely. Flat well, cap. Ha. Ah, whales. Whales and whippets. The perfect combination. He's still going. Hey, look at this he's guy. Clowning around on the ramp. He I'm wants to be going faster than I'm that. I'm thinking of white sharks again. Meanwhile, back with the slidey guy. Whoa, he, he obviously came off the... Look at this guy going. Oh, that must be slowed down. That's what happens when you try and pick your nose on a motorcycle. Oh, that's got to hurt. There's nothing up that guy's nose anymore, Whoa, that's for sure. Oh, these guys just love pain. Why doesn't he let go? Search me and search the lake for him later. I think I'll just uh, search the lake, actually, Bob. What? Never mind. Look at these guys go. These Americans are totally crazy. Are you making comments about my wife again, Rob? I wouldn't do that again. Not since the last time. Here we go. More boat in action. Since oh, he's hit the wall. Since the last time walked, Rob. Ah, never mind. Leave it. Leave it. Let's just say that she loves me more than she loves you. Look at this guy. He, that must have hurt. It did, Rob. I wasn't expecting you to say that. Forget talking about your wife. Look at the size of the engines in these things. It's no wonder these boats go so fast. Piggyback! Oh, look at that. If that you guy's... can't go around them, go over them. Well, that guy's going to be sore in the morning. Now, that guy's cheating. Look, he's got a helicopter. Look, it's like the wacky races. Whoa. White shark. Scary teeth, those white sharks, Rob. I forgot where I was from for a minute there. Just something that happened to me in my youth. Tell me about it, Rob. No. I'll do it Second later. Torch, don't. 
This guy is listening rather badly. He wants to uh, put some ballast or something Absolutely. on the other side. Look at this guy taking the corner. Is he going to take it fast? Lovely shade of green. There we go. He's going to go. He's going to go. Whoa! Never adjust the tuner when you're going around the corner. Yeah, the boats are pretty colored, too. Absolutely. Flying in all kinds of directions. Bits he didn't want to do that. He's a gunner. One-way ticket to Pain Central. Absolutely. <laughs> Now, as you'll be seeing on Mad and Max, if there's a type of vehicle, somewhere there's going to be an enthusiast who comes up with a way of racing in it. And that's not just true of the land or of the water, it's also true of the sky. And today we've come to meet the Micro Lightning. We don't exactly race Micro Lights but compete between three and six different tasks over the competition for which points are awarded. Each round is designed to have roughly about three tasks of scoring about a thousand points each. The first task is called soaring. The idea here is that competitors stay in the air for as long as possible running on a set and carefully measured amount of fuel. The second task is all about precision landing. Competitors cut their engines at 1,000 feet and have to land the aircraft in what's called a 100 metre deck. I'm here with Microlite pilot Terry Thomas. Hi Terry. Um, can you tell us how you got involved in Microlite? Um, I've been paragliding for about six years. Uh, well, very small weather windows on paragliding, which means that you're very limited on conditions for flying. So I Last summer, a friend of mine introduced me to Michael Eitin. He asked me to come up on the back of, it, back of his trike, which we call these, and um, I went for it. And how much does a, a wonderful little aircraft like this actually cost to buy? Uh, you can buy a second-hand aircraft, a good one like this little Pegasus Q for between five to six thousand pounds. And when there's a, a few of you in the syndicate, obviously you just pay in a proportion of the share. These machines look a little bit. Um... Heath Robinson, um, how safe actually are they? They're small, they're light, they're very strong. They've got a good testing procedure. They're, they've got good backup systems to make sure. It's, it's mainly up to the pilot to make sure he looks after his aircraft, to make sure he does all his checks. The aircraft itself, it's very rare there is a failure through, through the normal aircraft itself. It's generally through pilot's abuse or misunderstanding. So can you show us through your craft from front to back? Right, well, as you can see, it's a fairly simple design. It's called a weight shift microlite, which is basically because when we're in a flying mode and we have our hands on the bar, we obviously move the wing, which in turn is pivoting the main mass of weight underneath to keep it, keep it all level in flight. On the engine, we've got a Rotax engine, which are very reliable engines. This one's just under 500cc, a uh, high power unit. I believe it's got a horsepower of somewhere around about 45 horsepower. So as you, as you can understand, it's, we've got a lot of power there. You've got your wing, which is basically like a hang glider wing. Uh, that has poles running through it for stability. And we check all this through every time we fly it to make sure that it's all everything's looking good and there's no cracks no no joints loose anything missing anything's been damaged this is where we have to be particularly careful to make sure that that side of it is in good order and i suppose that bolt there is the most important bolt the main aircraft. that is the most important the hang bolt where everything pivots from that we check every time we fly it it's very important that's in good condition, it's not loose, it's not got play in it. Safe side, but that, that's right, that is one of the most important features. Well, uh, I'll judge by all this noise, everyone's getting ready to go out, so we'll let you get uh, yourself okay. together. Yep, um, that's it. And we'll and come and have a chat with you later on.
it's, it's not exactly a spectator sport and it's not exactly exciting for anybody who's not actually up there taking part. But if a motorsport's about pushing yourself and your machine to the ultimate, then surely this has got to be one of the most valid forms of, of motorsport, if you like, that we've looked at. Right, Terry, we saw you take off earlier and now you're back on terra firma. Um, well, what was it like? Um, you could say we're pleased to be back there now. It's uh, disappointing, but um, as you can see from the clouds around, it's an extremely rough day to be flying. We got part way around the circuit. We were finding it extremely difficult to navigate. The little trike was being thrown around all over the place. Julie was finding it it difficult to try and pick up any of the pictures below so we decided on the safety and abandoned it. Now Julie it must be worse for you because you're sitting on the, behind him but you've also got no means of controlling anything. Well it is a bit scary especially when the wind goes right over and your partner's hanging out the side and you're just looking straight ahead and you're thinking oh dear. <laughs> no, yeah so it's... I'd imagine it's a long way down yeah, suddenly. Yeah, yeah it was very choppy up there it was very bumpy and you haven't, as a passenger, you haven't really got anything to hold on apart from the person that's in front of you if it gets too rough. By the throat, I would imagine. Yeah. The best. <laughs> By <laughs> the, the neck. Down, down. <laughs> she was throttling me to say, go home, I've had enough. It's been great to meet you, I really enjoyed it, thanks very much. Now as you hopefully gather from this piece, Terry is a genuinely nice bloke and he also loves and is very passionate about his sport. He's also so enthusiastic, he almost got me into the back seat and up in the air in it. Almost, but not quite, because I think he's raving mad. Well, sadly, that's all for this week's show, but join us next week when there'll be just as many, if not more, frills and spills. I'm Dougie Brimson, and you've been watching Mad and Max. <laughs>